We have some breaking news right now on Denver 7 News at 630. 200 homes are under mandatory evacuations because of this fast moving wildfire. More airdrops and firefighters will join the effort this morning. It is burning just north of the town of Silverthorne. If you take a look at this map, this is the interstate. The fire is burning about two miles from the town city center. We have team coverage this morning. Denver 7's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo is tracking current fire conditions, but we want to start with Veronica Acosta with the newest information from overnight. Well, we got the chance to move a little bit closer. This allows us to see a part of that fire a little bit better. So take a look over my shoulder. You can really see that orange glow on one portion of the fire from where we're standing this morning. Of course, you can see it from the other side as well. You can really see that smoke as the sun starts coming up this morning. You can see that gray smoke moving more. And again, you can really see those flames from where we are right now. So it's been more than 13 hours now since it lit up. This is near the Hamilton Creek subdivision. And the fire did prompt that mandatory evacuation for the people living there. That order still standing this morning with some surrounding areas on high alert. So let's show you some video that we got yesterday from viewers. A glimpse into what those who live here were seeing. You can clearly again see that plume of smoke on the mountainside. We have another video here where you can see how close it is to homes and the aerial support that's needed to try and put the fire out. So that's the main way crews are trying to knock this thing out because it is a hard area to get to. There are a lot of trees, a lot of foliage, a lot of material that can burn easily. Despite this, officials say they're glad they were able to get people near the fire out of their homes and of course keep them safe. We're prepared for the worst. Uh, we're hoping for the best. And the best in this situation is people have been evacuated, but in the end, their homes aren't impacted by the fire and they have a safe place to be. And there is an emergency shelter set up that's over at Summit Middle, uh, Middle School. It's a cool morning this morning, so that hopefully will help firefighters as they try to knock this fire out. But Lisa, she has more details on what exactly we can expect as the rest of the day goes on. Yeah, and the winds have been pretty calm overnight too, about five to 10 miles per hour. Let me show you on Futurecast what we're expecting here and through the Central Mountains and there near Silverthorne. Within the next few hours, we're going to see more cloud cover and rain showers developing. So by early, uh, well, late morning, early afternoon, it's going to be quite a bit more wet out west. So uh, conditions actually a lot better for firefighters, higher humidities, cooler temperatures, highs in the 50s and 60s. So actually, it's really going to help out here over the next couple of days, both today and tomorrow. Now,